John, we, you kind of posted this about cultural fit. And for me, it's very important. So when job seekers go for an interview and sometimes they get a rejection saying that you're very great, but you're culturally not fit. So what does that really mean? In the meantime, we're also seeing that DNI is becoming popular this day. So in my mind, I feel that there's kind of a misalignment. We need, we want DNI, but we don't like people who are outside thinkers. So it all becomes mini me. So elaborate that. What what's that? What's this cultural fit really means? Yeah, I mean, from a from a job seeker perspective only, um, the I don't really believe there's any such thing as a corporate culture. Mm -hmm. There are some ideas, there are some principles that maybe can be shaped, right? Uh, a culture of openness, right? Like if, if the CEO of LinkedIn says, I want radical transparency and I will, I will not stand for anything other than that, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's an element that, that tends to kind of, you know, trickle down, but you could still have a horrible manager. Right. And so the culture is team specific, not company specific. Mm -hmm. And we unfortunately get caught in the trap that culture is a company thing and mm -hmm. it's not at all. Um, as per my example with Amazon, right? First two years, not a great experience. Team right down the hall, second two years of my tenure, great experience. Yeah. What's the difference? Same company, same floor, same building, mm -hmm. totally different ideologies. Um, and so that's what people face when they're going into an organization. So if you're looking for cultural fit, you want to be asking questions about like your manager and your manager's manager. How are they to work with? Mm -hmm. And then read between the lines of what they're not saying, mm -hmm. right? Well, you know, Jane is um, super particular about X and Y. You're like, damn, they didn't say anything about Jane being open and transparent, mm -hmm. right? They said something different than what I was thinking would be part of my values. Yeah. Now, those are great tips. Thank you very much, John. And tune in next time for my final question with John.